Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Chad. Uh, this will be my second commentary on the whole how people are so argumentative over Xbox and why they trash talk so much. You know, I've been going over this because of Gears of War 3 and how it's become very apparent that people do this a lot. And I was actually talking about it recently, you know, uh, well, I guess you could, I guess you could say a recent good friend of mine, or a good, it used to be a good friend of mine, has been, uh, you know, a bit more argumentative than late, and uh, I've been wondering why. I, I, to just to recap really quickly, if you haven't seen it, we had a little debate about the 9/11, how overpublicized it was. Uh, we have a, we had a debate about, you know, universities, which I, you know, was kind of dumb. Uh, I, I would say that it, he, he consistently said that the, you know, Florida, Florida University was the best, one of the best schools in America. And I told him any college is good, but there are the top 100, and Florida isn't in the top 100. There are universities that are in Florida that are in the top 100, but the, it's not the University of Florida, from my understanding, from the article I was looking at, is not in the top 50. And from what I saw, I could have honestly missed it, is not in the top 100. And the school I was talking to him about that I was going to go to, and honestly, this started with, uh, you know, college you're going to go to, blah, blah, blah. I just told him Berkeley. And he's like, oh, Florida is so much better than Berkeley. And I'm like, I, you know, at this point, I was like, what are you going on about? Because honestly, the ranking says, you know, Berkeley's top 25 uh, on this website I was looking. I'm proud of that. I'm proud that the school I'm aiming to go to is top you know, top 25, and he just, he seemed to very, you know, you know, stand his ground pretty, pretty stalwartly, and so I, I backed off, and, and then just to recap real quickly, it went into finances, and then I left off on his whole religious statement. Now, I, as I said, I'm not a very religious guy, and I have very little tolerance for bigotry and ignorance. Now, I, I guess I'm a bit of a, a hypocrite. I'm, I'm a bit ignorant myself because I have very little tolerance for both ignorance and bigotry. But there's some, I'm, I'm a human. I'm not perfect. So, this you know, it's just my opinion. But he's going on about this. And I, I just simply say, okay, man, I, I get it. You're, you're, you're a religious guy. I'd like to say one thing to you. You know, my dad had cancer. And he, he's a very religious man. Well, he's not a uh, backtrack. I'm like, he's not very... I wouldn't say he's very. He doesn't go to church. He, he doesn't, but he was raised as a Christian white male in America during the 50s. And then he then he detours from the whole religious thing and is telling me that my dad could not have born in the been born in the 50s. That he... Uh, I can't remember the words he used. Sorry. But uh, he wasn't born in the 50s. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I would assume you know your mom and your dad's birthday. Or at least your mom's. I mean, I know my mom's. And my mom you know, was born. My dad was born. I know my dad's birthday by year because I, I always get asked about it. Like, oh, well, when was your dad born? I'm like, 1950-something? You know, I don't know. My mom, 1970-something? Uh, you know, I, I don't really remember them. But I, because I, it's because I'm younger. When you're an adult, you usually remember your parents' birthdays. And so I told him, like, 1950-something. He's like, no way, man. I'm like, I think it was 1956, dude. He, he's he's old. He's like, yeah, my dad was born in 1942. I'm like, didn't you say your dad was, like, 60 or 50? I can't. I was like, I, I can't remember what you said. Sorry. And he's like, uh, silence. He's like, let me go get my mom. I'm like, get your mom. And so he comes back, and he's all like, yeah, my mom said 1940-something. Uh, I can't remember. And I'm like, that would mean he's over 70. And then he's silent. Because he doesn't know how old his dad is. I'm sitting there, waiting for a response. I'm like, really? You're telling me your dad's that old and he's still working? He's like, yeah, we're in a tough financial situation. I'm like, okay, alright, oh, I believe that. And then he, he links it back to his religious beliefs. And at that point I'm like, okay, dude. I'm going to reiterate this again because you interrupted me the last time. My dad is a pretty, you know, he's raised a Christian. And, you know, he, he has pretty, you know, he's been pretty good about, you know, his praying and stuff. And you know, my dad's a bit of a redneck. And I'm like, when he got cancer, his praying didn't help him. It was, it was the doctor's. And, you know, I don't like arguing about religion, dude. It bugs me. It, it takes so much energy out of me. Because it, it's a very circular argument. I mean, neither side wants to relent. 
And he basically went, and you know, when you say this, and you know, whenever you say it to anyone who's even the tiny bit religious and is is a bit bigot, bigoted about it, they go off on a tirade. And, you know, they just start ranting. And so after I calmed him down from his rant, he then proceeds to start talking about, you know, how he's a Latino. And I'm like, oh, okay. And, and he starts calling Americans dumb. Now, he was a person defending that 9-11 is a terrible event and that all Americans should be sad and should, you know, want to avenge the day and go blah, 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 seek retribution. That was one of his exact words. He can't think of something like that. But, and I'm like, wait, aren't you, you're American. You live in the United States. You're white. You're a whitewashed Latino. And then he starts going off on me because he thinks uh, me calling him whitewash. He doesn't know what the term whitewash means. He thought calling somebody whitewashed means you actually call them white, like white trash, like like it's an insult. And then he proceeds to start going off on me. And it's like, what? I just called you whitewashed. You're an Americanized Latino. You're not dude, you have an you have a you have an American accent on your Spanish. Dude, you're not fully Latino. And cause I don't even I don't even really care. He's like, You're telling me my race? I know my race. I'm like, I know you know your race, but you don't know certain things. You don't know your nationality. And because if you're if you have a green card, if you're not illegal, you're an American citizen. You're considered an American. You have your race, just like there's African American. You know, white people are just considered Americans, but technically they're Caucasian. But they're also American, you know. They're, they're, it's it's he didn't get it and I was completely frustrated about this I was like dude what are you and so he ends up going on like a 20 minute rant and he keeps relating it back to the colleges I'm like dude we're not even talking about the colleges anymore man I said I said that any college is a good college good luck getting into a college man they're hard to get into now they're expensive and he doesn't shut up and this, this is just my recent experience man oh Oh, I totally got distracted from the original topic. So I think I'm going to make a part three. This video is kind of going to come to a close, I'm thinking. I'm looking at the video length I have for you guys. It's about seven minutes. I don't want to go much more beyond that. Uh, seven minutes, 45 seconds. So I got to say goodbye. Uh, please rate, uh, subscribe, like, please comment. Oh, I'd love you guys if you did. I love you guys anyways. Thanks for watching. And I'm sorry I have to rant like this, but there's sometimes I have to.